Okay, listen, how weird is the world right now? Genuinely feel like I'm in like a movie. <laughs> so weird. The UK is in lockdown as is a lot of the world because of she who shall not be named. On a real note though, I really hope you guys are well. I hope all your loved ones are well too. Please be safe, be responsible. The quicker we do as we told, okay, the quicker this shit will be over. <laughs> now, not being able to like really go out and do anything means we're like, we're stuck inside, right? I know I work from home, so I'm kind of like used to it as such, but even still a bitch needs to go outside <laughs> every now and again. Being stuck inside means something, okay? Somehow in my head, I've got it, I've got it in that I don't have to look presentable. <laughs> like who, who am I looking good for? Myself? My dog? I decided to let myself go um, and it got to the point where I was like, Jordan, I looked in the mirror and I was like, you're gross. This is gonna be like your quarantine lockdown glow up, ladies and gents. Let's all use this video as a time to sort ourselves out. We're gonna do skincare, we are gonna do makeup. Taking this as an opportunity to like really pamper myself and also play around with so much makeup that I never normally have time to. Use this video, you guys, like do it along with me, do what you gotta do. This is the outcome and guys, I have to be honest, like I just feel better like in myself. Like I feel just a bit happier, a bit more content. Like sorting yourself out can do bits for your mood, for your vibe, I'm telling you. Let's just do this, let's just get into this, a self-care. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. It's morning here. We're in the bathroom, okay, because we're about to tackle that morning skincare, you feel me? I'm slacking. This whole quarantine shit has got me fucked up. I'm feeling so fresh, guys. I just had a shower and washed my hair because it's been four or five days. Disgusting. I mean, my hair will thank me for that, but I was feeling all types of gross. Also, I apologize if this echo is like really annoying. For some reason, my laptop, like when I plugged in my mic, it just didn't want to accept it. Skincare, let's just get into it. I'm gonna. Guys, you're too nice. The amount of you that keep asking me for a skincare routine. It's dead sweet. You always say about my skin and how like clear it is. But guys, honestly, not all the time. Trust me. Right now, for example, my skin's been a little bit through it. I'm PMSing, okay? Arm flow is out and about and she's just a little crazy, okay? And I've got like quite a few breakouts and stuff where they're healing up. They're all quite like flat, but they're marks and stuff that I need to fix. These are products that I reach for all the time. Of course, in the evenings when I take off my makeup, there's a few added extras. But of course, these are like the basics. These are like my go-to, so. Cleanser. I've been in this YouTube thing for about four years and ever since the beginning, I have used this. I mean, this is a new and improved upgraded version, but the Vanity Planet skincare like facial brush has always been a vibe for me. I'm always reaching for it. This is the Radio Facial Cleaning System. The reason I'm saying this is because guys, me and Vanity Planet are teaming together just for the skincare, 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 skincare brush set moment of this video. A quick rundown, this is a rotating battery functioned brush. Waterproof, of course, you could literally take it in the shower with you if you wanted. As you can see inside, there's free detachable heads that of course you can switch up depending on what you feel like your skin needs. Some are more abrasive than others. The case is nice as well. There's like air holes so that the brush can breathe, meaning less bacteria will build up. Super hygienic as well. And it's travel friendly too, because obviously it comes in a case. So there's no excuses wherever I am in the world. This little guy can come with. Skincare always, okay? My favorite is actually the silicone head, so I'm just gonna pop it on. Then I'm gonna take my cleanser. This is by Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. <laughs> the amount of times I say Ole on my channel is actually like a bit of a joke. <laughs> Find your balance, oil control cleanser. There's a whole lot of good stuff in this. I mean, Ole Henriksen skincare is fire. Just getting her wet. Add a little bit of cleanser and just start to massage that into my skin. Pretty much guys, this brush digs deeper into your skin than say your hands would. I think it's like six times deep, which is crazy. It removes any dirt, any oil, any excess makeup, which you'll be surprised there was left in your skin, okay? <laughs> this also as well, by the way, has two different speed settings. So if I press it once more. Oh, bam. The cleaner your skin, the more likely you are to prevent your skin from getting breakouts, from acne. Gentle too, I hate really abrasive brushes. Can you see that? Jordan, look at that. I thought my skin was clean from last night. And yes, I still do have a discount code for 70% off with them. I think it's JL Derm, all in caps, but I'll put it on screen. So that is a hefty discount, so use that. And guys, we can have great skin. Just gonna go rinse this off. Ooh. I'm fresh. By the way, top tip, use tissue or like kitchen roll or something clean to dry your face. Normally I'd reach for like a towel or something, but they can like harbor bacteria. Just use it and then throw it away. I'm gonna do some face masks. <laughs> this is a little added step. We are in lockdown, okay? We can do whatever the frick we want. This one is, this one's more, 
smell like glue. <laughs> this one's a detoxifying peel of clay mask and it has witch hazel in. This is made in Korea and Korean skincare is just insane. Because I'm breaking out, I need a little extra help in the detoxifying department, you know? I need to like rip all the grossness out from my skin. To be honest guys, I feel better already. I feel less stressed. How long do I leave this on for? 20 to 30 minutes. Right, see you in 20 to 30 minutes, bitches. I definitely waited 20 to 30 minutes. I didn't speed up the process or anything. Now what I want to do is add like a crap ton of moisture back because obviously where we've drawn everything out my skin is like the Sahara. Am I about to be extra and do another mask? Real quick. <laughs> my baby, Jake Jamie. A Make Revolutions a face mask. This is his newest one. This is the strawberry donut face mask, which... I'm out. If this does not make me look like a snack, I'm suing. <laughs> oh my god, doesn't that just look like you could just... So I just... Oh. No, no. What? <laughs> Please tell me you've seen that TikTok because I died. <laughs> Y'all see how thick this is? This feels cold and like moussey on my skin. Delish, basically. Um, and I kind of just want to put this like all over my bod. Getting extra of my skincare today, okay guys? Feed your face, you know what I'm saying? Leaving this on for 10 and hopefully after I'm gonna feel like a brand new bitch. Right, my skin not only feels so much better, but I feel like it looks way better. I feel like the redness has gone down, it looks smoother. Do you wanna know what I did in the meantime? on tiktok made a tiktok if you didn't know yeah i have tiktok i'm actually on tiktok quite a lot at the moment just because what else is there to do my last little bits of skincare now so i'm really quickly just going to pop on these eye masks i love doing eye masks quite regularly i'm always pretty kind of like puffy in that area so i'm just going to whack these on these can do their thing while i do the rest of my skincare toning and moisturizing so you guys know i love these two it's a neutrogena clear and smooth kind of day i love this just because it's a mess so convenient wise it's so much easier moisturize up we just need to talk about this. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. They have this in a mask as well. And let me tell you, if you want your skin to feel moisturized, like on a whole nother level, you feel me? Use this and it smells incredible. Then on days when I just want that extra like, you know. <laughs> Ode Hermitson Truth Serum. This is like vitamin C based. This is so nice. This one's really good for the glow. Or I have the, this one from Beauty Bay. Clarifying Serum, which is for tackling breakouts and moisturizing skin. Let's go for the Beauty Bay one. I like the prepare as well because it makes it really easy. Doesn't look dodgy at all. <laughs> My skin. Okay, when I put makeup on top of this, you need to stop it right now. And we are done. This skincare routine, guys, in the morning literally takes me like 5-10 minutes. Like I said, these are my basic products, but if you want to know what I use at night to really regenerate my skin and kind of tackle my problems on my skin, whether it's blemishes, marks, just helps like resurface everything, let me know and I can do this video but like the other way around, okay? Always make time for your skincare. I am telling you, skincare is the most important thing. It determines the way your makeup looks. Also the way you feel, you know what I'm saying? That when your skin is at its best, you're at your best, and you feel your best. Look after your skin. You're gonna be in this for the rest of your life, so do what you gotta do. Right, we are ready for makeup, so I think that's what we should do. Let's go paint our face. Mm, I just had about three mental breakdowns. One of my lights decided to be like, F you bite. You know when the wire breaks? It's like when your iPhone cable breaks. So now I only have one huge ass light in front of me and I've like turned up to the max. My eyeballs are genuinely burning. <laughs> Normally I have two lights, so one either side of me to kind of like even out the lighting, but not today. I keep looking and I feel like the lighting just looks weird. Anyway, makeup, let's get into it. So I think, well, my brows are already done. I actually done them a little bit differently today. How many people are gonna hate my eyebrows? Whenever I change my brows, everybody comes for me. And I'm like, Karen, Jenny, and Lauren, can we please stop? I did them a bit more like that feather fluffy brow and I feel like you either love them or hate them. I'm just trying something different. It's makeup, it wipes off, it's not a big deal. I have already primed my eyes. I actually used something different today. I found this and I've never used this. So this is the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. So far I like it. Obviously, I mean, it depends how the eyeshadows blend. I feel like it's not as full coverage as say my P. Louise base, but then at the same time it has covered everything. So like, what am I talking about? Hmm. I really don't know what I want to do. I feel like I kind of want to do something kind of smoky, bronzy, and just like, I don't know, like classic glam. I have this palette here um, from a brand called Sample Beauty. Am I the only person that's never heard of this brand? Or probably I live under a rock half the time. This is a brand that you can get on Beauty Bay and they sent me a little package the other day and I was like, hello, hi, because 
it is beautiful. How pretty is this bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like you've got color, you've got neutrals. I feel like you can do crazy looks and then more of like what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this brush. This is my Morphe M441 brush. This is my favorite sort of like big fluffy blown out crease brush. Oh my God, you can do two of me. I'm dead. All right. <laughs> Before we begin, can I just do like a little, like little swatch moment? The green, this blue, let's do a shimmer too. Okay. Wow. They felt really nice too. I'm gonna mix these two colors together first. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna put this in my crease and kind of blow it out to the brow as my transition. So far, so good. I don't wanna start with any, you know, bold kind of lines or colors. Because I really want this to be really spoke. Damn, these eyeshadows are nice, you know. Pigmented, blending out beautifully. There's no patchiness. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm actually gonna start to wing out the shadow on the outer corner. I'm gonna kind of like take that right back into my temple. And let's do the same to the other eye. Okay, I think we are smoked out enough. I feel like it looks fucking crazy right now. This is the part of the makeup process that we call trust the process. Okay, I know it looks ugly right now. It might still look ugly, but it's fine. I might just quickly go in with a Morphe M573 brush, which is the same thing, but like a little smaller. Dip into this color here, which is just like a darker brown. Let's deepen up that crease ever so slightly. I say ever so slightly, but crap, that's pigmented. I'm basically just gonna follow exactly what we just did, but I'm not gonna kind of blow it out as far um, as we did that first color. Back in with that first brush just to blend the two colors together. Ooh. I have been dying to use this because I genuinely have so many at this point. Could it really be out here pulling through the PR packages? Okay, and I have like 50 million in one. These are the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. So basically on one end you have a liquid matte shadow, which sounds really interesting. And then on the other you have a shimmery version. So it's like a matte and a shimmer version of the same color. This color caught my eye. This is in Cashmere Robe, which is like a bronzy brown. So starting off with the matte, so I'm like a little dope applicator. I think I'm just gonna pop this down first. And then I'm gonna grab a clean brush. I'm gonna use little tap emotions to blend out the edges. Do you know what? That actually blended a lot more easy than I thought it would be. I was scared that because it's obviously meant to be matte. But it wouldn't blend. It actually has. The shimmer side. Whoa. Holy shit. That is like, that is pigmented. That's like opaque. Let me just take my brush and kind of blend that out. I don't want it to be too shimmery. I just wanted like a little, you know? <laughs> I'm not mad at that. The more that I'm using this, the more that I like this. Go to babes. Fair play, fair play. Mm. I feel like this look needs like a bit of extra like depth. I have this eye pencil here from Benefit that I've never used. It's their Bad Girl, Bad, Bad Girl Bang 24 hour eye pencil in pitch black. I love their mascara. I think it's so good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be fab too. I'm gonna have a little like smudger on the end. Love. Kind of just want to build up the color on the outer corner. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe E36 brush and Go with the black from the palette. Use that to not only set the black liner, but kind of start to smudge it out. Blend away any edges. Cotton pads in some makeup remover. I mean, it looks a little crazy now, but hopefully when, you know, we've got lashes on and we've done underneath the eye, it'll be all right. I'm gonna do it on the other eye real quick and then we can do lashes. Before we put on lashes, I actually have a mascara here that I really wanted to try. Bambi Eye, full slash. Do you know what? I haven't even heard any promo about this. So I actually have no idea what this is like or what it's meant to do. The brush is quite nice. It's quite like fed. She's thick, but it has like short little plastic bristles, which I do like that because I feel like they get right into my lash and they're quite good at lengthening. It looks like quite a wet formula too. Let's just see how it goes. Hmm. I definitely feel like it's a volume over lengthening mascara. I feel like where the bristles are really short, I can't quite like grip the lashes. I mean, hmm. Hmm. I've tried better mascaras, but I've also tried way worse. But I'm a lash girl though, so I don't really ever see my real lashes. You know, like they never see the sunlight. <laughs> I don't know, mascaras don't really excite me. It's just one of those products that I just like put on. Mediocre, you know, she's just like chilling here. This is like great and this is black. She's just like here. These lashes, right, these have been chilling, waiting for me to use for a little while now. This is the Tarte Lashes Molly May collab. So basically they come out of two pairs. So she's got her everyday lash and then her after hours lash. We've got like a day and a night lash. I just think it's a really cool concept. I might try the after hours lash because I go big or go home vibes. I actually feel like these could go with the look quite nicely because they wing out. Can you guys see that? They kind of have that 
like thicker on the outer corner. I think I am gonna have to trim these though because I have diddy eyeballs. Just gonna take my Kiss Lash Glue. You know what, they're actually really easy to apply because they have such a thin lash band. They're actually quite thick on the outer corner as well. So it's actually nice to have um, a thin band. They were real easy to apply. And I really, really like the shape of them. If you love a little cat eye moment, I feel like you're gonna love these. Time to start on this skin. I will of course finish up underneath the eyes once the skin's on, you guys know. What is stuck to my foot? Something is going a little crazy down there. Primer, I've been dying to give this a go. This is by Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier? Laura Mercier. This is called the Pure Canvas Primer. This is the blurring one, but what I like about this is that it's silicone free. Now, if you don't know, I have oily skin. Did you know? I don't think I've ever mentioned it, have I? <laughs> Shut up, John. And silicone based primers can actually make your makeup slide around a lot more. And then if you, obviously if you have oils come through, it's just like a hot mess. So I like something that blurs, but without that slip. I'm gonna kind of focus this in the T-zone and then of course blend it out. Kind of feels like a moisturizer, to be honest, but a little bit like thicker. Like there's some, oh, oh my God, it's going sticky. Yeah, it feels like a moisturizer at first and then it goes like thicker and kind of settles on the skin. Oh my God, it's really tacky now. Mm, that feels nice. Hopefully when I put my foundation on, girl, we ain't gonna have no pores, you know? And then because we're here and just for the shits and gigs, I want to try this from NYX. It's their high glass face primer. This one is in the color Sandy, I thought I dropped it. Color Sandy Glow. Bit dark? Maybe. It's fine. We'll make it work. I'm gonna buff this in with this flat top brush. Oh, that's gorge. Y'all see that glow? Holy shit. I, I get the glass skin. Do you know what I like about it as well? Is that there's no glitter to it. I hate it when primers that are meant to be illuminating have glitter in. Sometimes that kind of sticks to your skin and then, I don't know, it's just not the most flattering thing. Hmm. Look at my skin. Crazy. I mean, let's see how our makeup sits on top of us so far, both these primers I'm liking. Foundation, I don't have anything like brand new, like fresh on the runway that I can try, but I do have this from Benefit, which I've, I think I've maybe used once. Or did I mix it in with a foundation? Basically, I've never tried it, so let's give it a go. It's their Hello Happy liquid foundation. It's got a medium coverage. It's got SPF in. What color have I got? I've got number four. It has a pump, which, I appreciate. To blend it in, I actually have these microfiber sponges from Beauty Bay. These are so cute, right? They come in a little two pack. I feel so weird. Look fuzzy, like fuzzy sponges. These are meant to blend your foundation flawlessly, soak up less product. I don't know, let's give it a go. I've never tried one of these like furry sponges. I'm gonna go wet it and then I'll be back. Guys, it actually grew quite a lot. Are you ready? <gasps> I just shat my pants oh my god there was a little bit of an eyelash on the floor where i cut it off earlier and look i thought it was a spider like dead ass thought that was a spider <sighs> jesus i think i just lost about five years off my life bloody hell right <laughs> foundation hmm. it's actually quite a nice consistency it's like thick but like she's running so not too thick hmm it's actually got quite nice coverage considering it only said like medium. I'd say it's like high medium. The sponge seems to be applying it nicely too. Not gonna lie, that was two pumps. And I'm pretty much already out. I don't know if I'd say that this sponge soaks up less. I am enjoying the way the sponge is applying it though. Um, foundation looks really nice. Now that I'm really looking at it, it's quite like dewy, but that obviously the, the primer underneath could do that. Let me see if I can, let me see. <laughs> if I can build up without it going kind of like cakey or look heavier hmm. yeah definitely that hasn't caked up or bunched up a little sticky the foundation do you ever have that when some foundations feel, feel like a bit like tacky those are the ones i'm never too clean on because i'm not sure how they last or if they'll kind of cling and go a bit like muddy this hasn't though to be fair so i mean oh my god guys look at the sponge can you see the like dark spot right there at the top where the foundation has made like a little puddle i definitely would say that that's soaked up crap ton of product mm. does this be a normal sponge i don't know i don't know it's not bad but then at the same time i'm like you know beauty blender this is another product that i'm so excited to try i actually love the foundation of this concealer by shiseido i feel like no one talks about shiseido or is it just me i mean they are a little expensive you know you gotta splurge a little but it's worth it when you find the right product right so this is the shiseido psych Synchro, synchro, oh my god, it's like English? I can't read. 
So Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I have it in 201 light and also 202 light. So if I just get, get them out of my little homes. Hmm. 201 looks a little bit more pinkier. So I think I'm gonna go for 202. I love this applicator. <laughs> it's like a little figure of eight. I thought I was gonna hate it, but it's really flexible and quite kind of soft. And it kind of just like bends with the curves of your face. I don't know, that's really interesting. Holds way more um, product than I thought it would too. Blend it out. Just melt it into the skin. Love. I mean, these are the highlighted areas. For me, I always know a concealer underneath my eyes, so. Yes. That is beautiful. Not only am I getting coverage, but I'm getting that, you know that finish that you want with a concealer where it just like melts into your foundation and doesn't look heavy. Bright and like lifted as well. I feel like on camera that looks crazy. It's not. <laughs> that shit concealed. That's nice. Guys, that's nice. That's one of my favorite things that I've tried yet. She's Ado babes. You really pulled through. Something's on, that has been stuck to my foot for about the past half hour. <laughs> this step, okay, you've seen me do about 5,994 times at this point. My cream contour, I'm gonna use my Primark foundation and contour stick in caramel and then I'll be right back with you. For eye powder, I have another cream product to try out, which is by Iconic London. I mean, you've probably seen a ton of people use these at this point. I'm a little bit slow. Better late than never, I guess. These are their sheer blushes. The amount of good things that I've heard about these and the amount of people that I know use these is crazy. It's weird because I feel like cream blush is one of those products that people are like, not me. I really want to give it a go. I feel like this color is calling my name. This is fresh faced. Like a brownie pink, I think. I might just be careful is what I will do. I'm gonna use my finger. Really liquidy, like it's quite wet. I'm a little worried that it might bring up my foundation. That's a really pretty color though. Look how easy that blended out. I totally get the sheer part of the blush now. Hmm, I like that color, but I feel like we, we could add a little bit like more of a pot. What about this one? This is... Rose Riot. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Like this is beginner friendly as well. Can you see how that's just added like a flush of color to my skin but without being too intense and crazy? I feel like for every day as well, definitely would recommend. Right, before we get into powder, I'm actually just gonna take my Laura Mercier loose setting powder just to pack that on underneath my eyes. I prefer a loose underneath there and I already got a, a pressed one to try out. So, hey, you know what these fairy sponges are good for? powder. I have high hopes for this powder because that concealer was so good and the foundation is really good. This may be good too. <laughs> this is that same range from Shiseido. It's their cinch skin thing. Invisible Silk Pressed Powder. This one is in translucent matte. So maybe they have a translucent like radiant. Oh my god, bouge. It comes with... <gasps> oh my god, it's a furry sponge. Another furry sponge. I'm gonna say my hourglass double ended. I'm gonna press into this. Definitely mattified. I'm actually gonna switch to my sponge real quick. Press the powder on with my sponge. You guys know how I feel about pressing my powder on with a sponge. It's literally a game changer. Yes. I feel like it melts in so much more, you know? I feel like I'm mattifying, but smoothing my skin at the same time. It's kind of giving me that soft, you know that sort of like soft blur on your skin that some powders can do. I like the fact that this is translucent as well because you don't have to be, you know, scared about it or you don't have to kind of get your color wrong. Hmm. You can see it on my skin though. Do you know what I mean? You know some powders you can see that. It kind of gives you that like powdery veil if you know what I'm saying, but in a good way, not in a ill, I look like the Sahara Desert. Hmm. Nice. Bronzer, not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited for. This is the first time in a while that I've been excited for a bronzer just because of the color. I got sent this in PR. This is the new Ofra X Samantha March collection. So they collabed with this beautiful girl who is, she, she's a beauty vlogger and author. She made a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter and like a little lip combo. This is the bronzer. So it's a bronzer duo in the shade River. Mm. How beautiful does that look? I have never seen anything like this. So on one side, it's a matte bronzer and the other, it's like a shimmery highlighty type situation. On my Morphe M527, I'm gonna stick to the more matte side. That is so Nice. That color is beautiful. That is a very me bronzer color. Can you see how that's just instantly brought back the warmth into my skin? And it's not actually as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be, but that's a good thing, because sometimes we all know what this sort of formula from Ofra is like. It can be a little scary. <laughs> I'm loving this. Listen, I'm putting this all over my face. I'm also just gonna take that matte bronzer, by the way, 
and blend some into my temples so that my eyeshadow kind of blends back even more. If you're doing like a winged out effect, this is a great little tip. What does the shimmery one look like? Hmm. I feel like that is like a over, like a topper. Let me just, that's quite glowy. Can you see that? Looks like I put a highlighter on. That's dead pretty though. If you, you know, lightly tap in and just add that as a topper, that is beautiful. If you like a radiant bronzer, you're gonna love this. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed. That is beautiful. That is one of my favorite bronzers that I've tried in a long time. Samantha, congrats, girl. The only one thing I don't like about it is the white packaging because I literally, I'm, I'm gonna get makeup on that in like four seconds. But what's inside, babes, you absolutely killed that. Blush, she actually has a blush as well. Should we just use it? This is her blush duo in Chick Lit. And I'm not gonna lie, that looks beautiful too. This bitch knows what she's doing. Like we've got a matte side and a shimmery side. We all know I love blush, so this is gonna be like a real test. Slightly powderier this one, but blushes tend to be. I'm gonna pop that where I always put my blush, kind of right back here on the cheekbones. Kind of lifts your... Okay, this bitch knows exactly what she's doing. That is a beautiful, like, soft pink. Mm-hmm. That is a big face for me. Another two faves in my video, man. I feel like you guys should know as well, when I get excited about a makeup product, like, it's gotta be good. <laughs> Just because I have so much makeup and I try out so much that when another bronzer or another blush actually, like, gets me hyped, you know I'm about it, right? Not gonna lie, I'm dying to try this because this is the highlighter that I've seen like, I've seen going around for ages, but Artist Couture Glow Powders. You know the loose highlighters that come in like a little pot? What color is this in? This is in Rose. So it's actually more of a pink toned one. The amount of people that I've seen use these highlighters, man, is, is mad. This is from Beauty Bay, by the way. Might be a little too pink, but we're gonna give it a go. Taking my Morphe M510. I feel like I'm only gonna need a little bit, do you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit scary. <laughs> that is beautiful. Can y'all see that? That looks wet. There's no glitter in it at all. And that's blended out really, really nicely. Even though like, I mean, you can see it's pretty intense. I feel like if you if you dipped your brush in a tiny bit, you could customize the glow. Yeah, I know me though. I kind of went a little, went a little crazy, but it's fine. It's a tad bit too dark. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a slight cast when I look forward. This in like a champagne gold. I know that's like so basic bitch, but that's a vibe. In fact, to be fair, I really love this color. I don't know if you guys can see, but in certain angles it's more pinky and then in others it kind of hits more gold. It's got like a combo. I'm here for this. I'm all about this. Do you know what? I'm seriously waiting for the day, right? Where there's so much that fucks up that I have to literally take everything off because it's that bad. <laughs> because like, I'm having like, I'm on a roll. Before we do lips, guys, let's go back into the palette and finish up my eyes. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. So I'm gonna dip back into the first two transition shades that we used and kind of buff that underneath the eyes, really smoke that out. And then close to the lash line, I'm gonna go in with the dark brown to really deepen everything up and smoke it out. You know what? I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the black as well. Last thing for the eyes, I'm gonna go back in with that Benefit Bad Girl Bang black pencil. My waterline. Oh yeah, it goes in the waterline, which is fab. Also tight line, which I hate the feeling of. Last thing now, guys, which is lips. So I'm just gonna take my Primark Lip Liner Pencil in Toffee. I've got some new nude lip products to try out. So let's just start off with this. And then have this liquid lipstick here from Morphe. This is in the color True Story. Oh my god, this color. The most beautiful undertone. If this was like a lighter version of this, I would wear this every single day. I'm just gonna make this a tad bit lighter with my foundation. That formula feels really, really nice, like really comfortable. Top it off with my Primark High Gloss Lip Gloss in Golden Sands. Oh yeah, that was what that needed. And then to finish off, I have some setting spray. Found this in my makeup collection, I've never used it. This is by Sleek, this is their Life Proof Mattifying Fixing Mist. I feel like where it's matte, I need to like shake that shit up. Woo! That actually gets you quite wet. Guys, the glowantine, glowant, glowantine? The glowantine. Glow up and quarantine. There you go. It's done. What do we think? I did actually change my lip color in the end because it just wasn't doing it for me. <laughs> Went for my like classic nudes, so my Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner, my Morphe lipstick in first base. And then I still use the, um, the Primark gloss though. Love this gloss. Did you like... What is it? £1.50? Something like that? Crazy. You know what? I really hope this video was helpful and that it maybe inspired you to just look after yourself. With everything going on, like, it's so crazy and I just think that now is the time to do things that you've always said you didn't have time for. And I know in this video I focused on skincare and makeup. That's kind of like the theme, I guess, of my channel. But I don't want it to just be about that though. Like, take this as an opportunity to do things you've always wanted to do. Do things that make you happy, you know? Whether it's to start exercising, whether it's to meditate, whether it's to 
read books, start a YouTube channel. And just to clarify what I mean by do stuff that you enjoy, of course, I mean stuff that you do at home. There's more that you can do at home than you think, okay? So get creative, but yeah do it at home. <laughs> Text your loved ones, check up on them, make sure they're okay. Use this time to focus on you, um, better yourself and learn to rely on yourself for happiness. You know, there's a big difference between being alone and loneliness. Remind yourself of that. Bit of a shit time, bit of a weird time, but it will all, it will all get better. On that note, stay safe guys. I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Mwah.